What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is the Battle of the Epics. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the all-new iPhone 6S to Samsung's most beautiful smartphone, the S6 Edge. Now, whether you already have one of these and are trying to decide whether to go over to the other side or you're trying to choose between these, in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything from specs to features to comparing cameras and power and graphical power and everything you need to know when deciding between these phones. These are truly two of the greatest phones out on the market right now and it's really going to be a tough choice choosing between them. The Galaxy S6 Edge was a huge success for Samsung and I'm curious to see whether or not the iPhone 6S finally catches up and competes. So let's begin with usability. So the iPhone 6S has become more comfortable to hold on to now. There's a new texture on the back making it not so slippery and the display is a perfect size. You can reach almost all areas of the display with one finger. Reachability of course does help. So it's a very comfortable phone. The Galaxy the Essex Edge is also very comfortable. It's a little bit wider and the border gives you something to grab onto. However, it is a little slippery compared to the iPhone 6S, so definitely keep a case on this guy. Both of these handsets feel absolutely premium. Samsung definitely caught up, you know, way back in the day they used to use so much plastic. And both of these devices are roughly the same size. The iPhone 6S slightly smaller, however, it is thicker and heavier. Galaxy S6 Edge, although it does feature a larger display, it's not that much bigger than the iPhone 6S. Now, when it comes to displays, these phones couldn't be further apart. They're using a completely different display technology, Super AMOLED versus LCD, and this is one area I wish Apple would copy Samsung on. I mean, the OLED display is so gorgeous, and not to mention how sharp it is. Samsung managed to fit so many pixels into such a small display while maintaining battery life. Now, Super AMOLED displays pretty much have a amazing dark colors because they don't have a backlight. Just take a look at the darker areas of these photos. You'll notice that the vibrance and the colors in general on the S6 Edge are so much better. Probably the best display on a smartphone period. Both of these phones do have unique screen technology. Of course, the S6 Edge has that curved display, which did I mention is very beautiful. Whether or not it's very useful for you, I don't know, that's debatable, but it's really cool to have it on a nightstand. It'll show you just the display because OLED displays actually can just light up a piece of the screen screen without needing to light up the entire thing. That's really cool alone, but it is really cool. I mean, it makes for great visuals. It looks like a little waterfall is going off the edge of your display when you swipe through photos and pages. So I thought that's cool, but the 3D touch actually brings a lot of functionality to your device. Sure, the edge display has people and contacts and quick shortcuts, but on the 3D touch, you can actually save a lot of time while adding new functionality to your device. So you can actually shortcut into a certain area of an application without having to go inside of it and then manually selecting it. So it'll just boot you right into that area on the app. So how's the durability? Well, these two are the survivors after being run over by a car twice and being dropped repeatedly. I mean, both are incredibly durable. The Galaxy S6 Edge uses a Corning Gorilla Glass 4. iPhone 6S uses a dual ion exchange glass. So both are extremely durable. Of course, take care of them. Don't drop them often, but they will survive your occasional waist height or head height fall. So this is the test I've been waiting forever to perform. The Geekbench and a graphical performance benchmark. So what I saw completely blew me away. I mean, the iPhone 6 wasn't too far behind, but not the 6S completely blows the Samsung Galaxy S6 out of the water. Are you curious to see what it is? Well, here it is. Only a dual core, yet it completely demolishes the Galaxy S6 in both single core and multi-core scores. That's just incredible. Again, reinforcing the point that iPhones don't need crazy amount of specs. They just need a well-optimized software. And if you guys don't believe me, you think I ran it wrong, well, I ran it again and again, and every single time the result was conclusive. The iPhone 6S outperforms the Samsung Galaxy S6, even though it has a dual core processor compared to an octa-core processor with clock speeds up to 2.1 gigahertz. The Galaxy S6 also has three gigabytes of RAM, whereas the iPhone 6S has just two. Next, I ran GFX Bench 3.1. Graphical power is very important. A lot of us do games or intensive applications on our phone, and it's good to have a powerful GPU. Now, even the iPhone 6 GPU was more powerful than the S6. Can you imagine the 6S? We'll take a look at this chart. These are the results, and in most areas, the iPhone 6S was three to five times more powerful than the Galaxy S6. Well, why is that? The Galaxy S6 Edge has a lot more pixels to push than the iPhone 6S. Just look at the comparison, guys. 
three to five times more powerful in most areas. That's really gonna reflect in gaming, video editing, I mean, really intensive applications. Now the wireless internals of the 6S have received an upgrade, so you're gonna see a lot faster Wi-Fi speeds, although no router is gonna reach that yet. There are more LTE bands making the iPhone 6S a better international phone, and there's Bluetooth 4.2, which is a more reliable, more energy efficient version of Bluetooth. And I was surprised to find that the Chrome standard browser on the S6 actually had a higher HTML5 compatibility score. The iPhone 6S has a considerably smaller battery, yet in some areas it does outperform the Galaxy S6. Both batteries, of course, are non-removable, but you should be able to get a full day of usage out of both devices. The S6 Edge, however, has a clear advantage here as it does have fast charging, wireless charging, and an ultra power saving mode, which saves even more battery life than low power mode on the iPhone. And there are a couple other things I wanted to mention. So the iPhone 6S has a haptic engine. It's far superior than just a standard vibration motor found in the S6, which means they will have a much better response when using 3D touch, whereas the S6 Edge, however, has haptic feedback on the keyboard. The second generation Touch ID found on the 6S is considerably faster than the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S6. So if you do a lot of locking, unlocking, you'll save a lot of time using the iPhone's Touch ID sensor. Now, because it's important to me, I decided to test out the speaker loudness on both of these devices, and the iPhone 6 S was just a mere fraction louder than the S6. So both are about equally the same. You know, there's not much of a difference here. However, the iPhone 6S has a little bit of a deeper tone to it, whereas the S6 is a little tinny. Now, as we get into cameras, I do want to say that the Galaxy S6 Edge has a fantastic camera and it's going to be a really close call here. In terms of actual numbers, the S6 Edge actually outperforms the iPhone 6S as it has a 16 megapixel rating with a lower aperture, meaning it does let in more light and low light video should look better. But the iPhone 6S has a far superior slow motion capability. Now in terms of features, it's gonna be a really close call here. The S6 Edge has optical image stabilization, which helps with video, whereas the iPhone 6S has True Tone Flash on the front and rear. And I gotta tell you, it's quite cool. Your entire front display now flashes in different colors to match your setting. And of course we have it in the rear as well, and it really does help you get a perfect color at night. So you wanna change your resolution, huh? Well, you have an S6, just go over here and change it from within the camera setup menu. However, if you have an iPhone, let me take you on a trip. Quickly exit, go to settings, scroll down to photos and camera, go into the tab for the type of video you're gonna be recording, whether it's slow motion or regular video, and then go ahead and select what you want to change the resolution to. What a pain, why couldn't have Apple just placed it into the camera application? So the actual camera quality, wow, that's a really, really tough one. Both have spectacular cameras. I mean, I was just blown away by both of these. The iPhone 6S made a definite improvement over the iPhone 6, but can it touch the Galaxy S6? The Galaxy S6 colors are so vibrant in most cases. However, the one area that I've noticed that it doesn't do as well in is in low light, and I'll get to that in just a second, but overall, I mean, both are great. Both have very beautiful colors in them. And I've noticed that the Galaxy S6 Edge is a little bit more stable if recording while walking. Optical image stabilization doesn't help much for video, but I've noticed that the video is a little bit more steady on the Galaxy S6 Edge if your hands shake while recording or if you're actually moving while recording. So these are all taken in the same environments on auto. I've noticed that the S6 in lower light conditions has a lot of noise, but when provided with a lot of light will reproduce very beautiful images, you know, very vibrant and colorful and a lot of light in them. So definitely fantastic quality for both the S6 might take a slight advantage in actual daylight conditions. When it comes to front-facing cameras, the S6 Edge has a slightly higher resolution, whereas the iPhone 6S has more features. True Tone Flash really is a game changer, and I thought it was a really great addition to the 6S camera. And tying into the cameras, there's a new feature called Live Photos, which brings your photos to life. It takes a few seconds before and after the picture, and it saves it with some audio, and it's only double the storage of a regular photo. I thought it was a really neat feature that the S6 Edge is missing. Now, the pricing isn't too far off for these guys. I mean, the S6 Edge is generally gonna be a little bit cheaper now because it's already out for over half a year. The 6S is the newest and greatest thing. So you, of course, are going to be paying more. But sizing is where the Galaxy S6 Edge has an advantage. 32 gigabytes of base storage really helps because on the iPhone 6S, you have so much that takes up more memory and it really makes sense to have at least 64 gigabytes. So let's talk exclusively.
exclusives. Both of these have some unique features that would make some other people want to switch to them more than others. So take a look at these features and just ask yourself, what would you need more in a phone? I mean, the Galaxy S6 Edge is such an amazing phone, but it's amazing in a different way than the iPhone 6S. So depending on what is more important for you out of a phone, you know, just take a look at this list and decide for yourselves. And again, just take a look at the iPhone 6S. It also has a lot of unique things and areas that it excels at versus the Galaxy S6. So take a look at what you would need most out of a smartphone in this list. I know everybody has different things that they look out for, so I can't really tell you which phone would be better for you. That's a choice you have to make depending on your needs. So I gotta give credit where it's due. Both of these phones are very impressive. Both are incredibly fast and have fantastic cameras, although the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge was more future-proofed. I mean, Samsung really put everything they had into it, so it made a very valiant effort against the iPhone 6S. The 6S, though, completely blew it out of the water with the speed and just comparing the specs, I was so shocked. Anyways, guys, I do want to thank you for watching this video. It took me a very long time to make it, so I would really appreciate if you could throw me a like down below and leave a comment. What do you think about this comparison? What do you think about these phones overall? I hope you made the right choice choosing between these. Have a great day, guys. Peace.